Hello everyone. Hey, we're here on this Wednesday lunch alert. It's going to be a blessing to you. We've been talking about Hebrews chapter 11 and I've challenged you to follow along with me this week and read along as I go through this. Now I'm only on verse three, so you can catch up. Okay. You can catch up, but listen, we've been talking about faith and we've been talking about what I would consider one of the greatest chapters of the Bible. And that's Hebrews chapter 11. Watch the last two lunch alerts. It'll bring you completely up to speed because today we're going to take off in verse Verse four. All right. So, so make sure you watch the last lunch alerts. It's going to be a blessing, but let's talk about verse four of Hebrews chapter 11. All right. And at this pace should be sometime next year by the time I finish this chapter. All right, here we go. You ready? By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Let's first and foremost talk about the, we're talking about faith and faith is all right, faith is a substance. Faith is hope. We talked about all that. We talked about faith uh, is actually forming the unseen into the seen. I tell you, it's a powerful thing. But listen to this. Today, we're listen it says that by faith, here's what it says. By faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice to God. You know, that's a powerful thing. If you find that, you'll find that over there in Genesis and you'll find where Cain and Abel, and we know this story that Cain killed Abel because the Bible says Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain did. Now, what's interesting is that Cain offered, all right, of the fruit of the ground, but Abel offered of a lamb, all right? But, but, I, I, and I used to wonder, why is that such a big deal? Why did God get upset? Because most people believe that uh, Cain was a, was a farmer, so he brought a grain offering, and Abel was a farmer in the sense of a sheep or goat, and, and that's why he brought a lamb. And I used to think that it had to do with the blood. He brought a blood offering, and the other one didn't, but that really didn't make sense to me because in Leviticus, they could bring a grain offering. So a lot of times that didn't, that didn't really connect with me. So I always wondered, but then one day it hit me, I was reading it. And if you'll read it and go back and read it in Genesis, I believe it's in chapter three there. You'll find that Cain, all right, just brought an offering, but Abel brought the first. The Bible is very clear. He brought the first of the, of, of his heart, of, uh, of the animals. He brought a first. And let me just say this. We here at Abundant Life Church believe that you should give God your best and you should give God your first. And let me just say this. I believe that the reason Abel's faith pleased God, and I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you want to please God. But do you know what God wants? He wants your first and your best each and every day of your life. Give God your first and your best, and you will be just like Abel. Because here's what it says. It says, by faith he offered a more excellent sacrifice. You may be giving God an excellent sacrifice, but how about a more excellent sacrifice, all right? Listen to what, it, and, and listen, I, I don't want to just move off of that before I, I say, that's not just talking about finances. It is talking about your finances in the sense of your tithe and in your offerings, and prayerfully you're being obedient in those areas. But how many, you can give your God even a more excellent sacrifice in your time. You know, every church struggles with getting people to volunteer. You know, God wants you to volunteer at his house and work for his kingdom. And I know what you might be saying. Some people say, well, you know, Sunday's our day, our family day. Yeah, but what is Monday through Friday? You know, that's your work days, okay. You know, and Saturday's sports day, okay. And then Sunday is your family day, okay. When does God get a day? Let me assure you, if you want to please God, you need to be giving to the Lord in your gifts, your talents, your time, in everything that you possibly can. And I know a lot of times we spend all of our time worrying about everything else except for God's kingdom. But listen, if you want to give God an excellent sacrifice, that's what, or a more excellent sacrifice, that's what you ought to be doing. Listen to what it says, though. It says, though which we obtained a witness that he was righteous. Abel obtained a witness in his heart that he was righteous. Do you know when you give God a more excellent, you will know in your heart and feel it in your heart that you did the right thing. You become righteous in the eyes of God. Now we know now that we are made right in the eyes of God by the blood. All right? But the blood of Jesus. It says, God testifies of his gifts. Notice that. I love that. God speaks of Abel's gift. How powerful is that? I want God to say, man, look at what Charlie did for me. Look at, I want God to brag on me. Nothing like being bragged on, all right? And, and listen, when we give God our first and our best, God will brag on us. And then here's what it says. It says, God testifying of his gifts and uh, through it, 
He being dead still speaks. Do you know that when you give to God and you give an excellent sacrifice to God, you know your gift will outlive you. That's the way I want to be. I want to live my life and then after I'm gone, everything that I sowed into produced more than when I was here. I tell you, it's a powerful thing. Well, hey, follow me tomorrow and we are going to continue on this path of Hebrews 11. It's going to be a blessing. Tune in tomorrow. We'll see you.